baby girl taking the carpet off the stairs. <laughs> Watch that hammer don't come back at you. You know, if we had a man here, he'd probably pull that off in like 10, 10 minutes. He'd have all the carpet off the stairs, padding and everything. <laughs> Careful. Don't you go back and hit your head. Don't you go back and hit your head. Man, I'm just sitting here. You know how hard this is for me to just sit here and watch? So Julie called today and she said she was going to come by with Dave next week, take the carpet off the stairs, and um, then I would have to stain and paint and whatever. So we're trying to get a head start. Give us one extra garbage day to get rid of some stuff, like this carpet. Anyway, let's just see what it looks like when it's done. Once we get past that first step, or you get past the first step, it might go a little easier. I'm going to hope. Sitting here waiting, waiting to be put in. Nice oak steps. Oh, and I want to bring something up that I think she can handle. That's something that's not going to hurt her. I don't want to put a big one, big sharp one up there. Stick one whack at it and then, oh, I need one of these too. A little. Yeah. All right. Daddy's left us well stocked. Here comes the supervisor. An exacto knife. I said we don't have one. You done playing with my nightgown? Hey Jackie, let's rip out all the stairs. <laughs> Again, back out in the garage, the glorified gopher. I can't do anything. It's killing me not to do anything because I'm waiting for surgery on my knee and I can't do anything. So. She wants a exact knife. I don't get it for her. See if she does any better with this. All right, back in. How's that exacto knife working? Actually, better than the actual the other knife. Wow. So, I don't think I mentioned that I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> and it's like, what time is it? 
three, four, four in the afternoon. Because I have no reason to get dressed. 317? Well, that's not bad. A lot of people aren't dressed by 317. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs>